Hi, my name is uh, George Ramos. I live in Studio City. I'm an engineer. I uh, work in startups uh, doing uh, software right now, mostly medical applications. And I have my name on a few patents. Uh, and uh, what, I, what I observed is we've made, uh, there's been a lot of movement recently on intellectual property protection ever since DMCA and uh, uh, ACTA and SOPA and uh, retroactive copyright extension and stuff. Uh, the problem is that that seems to be mostly benefiting the established entrenched interests. And some of us are much more concerned about the effect on small players uh, in, on information freedom, on privacy, um, and openness. And uh, the, what we're seeing is that most of the lobbying power is on behalf of these large players, and actually both you and uh, Brad Sherman favor these things. Uh, so the question is from the perspective of a liberal Democrat who is mostly concerned about the ability to innovate on the internet and openness, which one of you is the lesser evil? <laughs> Let me say this, and I will always be open to more specific concerns. To the extent you think SOPA is threatening the architecture of the internet, I don't want any part of it. But no one has given me any substantive reason to believe that things we are now doing, ICE is closing down rogue websites, domestic and foreign. Child pornography sites are blocked. Uh, search engines won't go there because they use blocking and redirection. Met, we use filtering mechanisms to stop spam from coming in. Malware to try and put viruses into your computer are blocked. These are all, these are the techniques that SOPA will apply. The only issue is whether to extend them to foreign-based websites which are dedicated to care conveying infringing material. And when you talk about moneyed interest, you're right. There are big corporate interests in support of SOAP. And let me tell you about the big corporate interests that are against SOAP. You think Google? Google is a small business? I love Google. Google is the most innovative entrepreneurial company. But Google makes billions of dollars of... I, I, well, no, no, you, you, no, you, you, you characterize this as the small guys against the money ditches. I'm just saying. So the money and the privacy policies are pretty bad. And they're, they're, and they're, and they're leading the fight against so Yes, that's why I'm wondering why the EFF and the Berkman Center don't get invited to hearings in Congress, whereas the NPA. And I chair that subcommittee. When I chair that subcommittee, I invite the public knowledge and have to come to hearings all the time. I made sure that I unfortunately don't chair that. I don't chair that committee, but I, I know those folks. I want to listen to them. I want to hear what the problems are. We have made a number of changes. It's a work in progress. And, and, and if there are privacy issues or architecture structure issues that might impede the internet, I am open to consider them. I do not want the internet has been the most wonderful invention in, uh, in terms of increasing American productivity, exchanging information, a source of uh, the It was the last thing I wanted to be so involved in something that undermined the internet. But I ask you to apply the same standards, uh, the liberal Democrat from Studio City that you are, to Consumer fraud, when an online website is selling counterfeit drugs that people are purchasing on the internet. For those of us who think the FDA should be regulating uh, the safety and efficacy of pharmaceutical project products before they're licensed, why wouldn't we want to also protect consumers against uh, counterfeit drugs, counterfeit apparel, counterfeit goods of any kind that are purchased on the internet? This isn't just about movies and music. The whole, it's about any kind of product where you're, you're lying about what you have. You don't own that product and you're trying to sell it. That's theft. And
Stay with me. Let, me. let me invite you, let's make sure we get your name afterwards. You give me, write out a little bit your concerns uh, about some of these issues, and, and I'll focus on it. Do you think Drew will go to jail? Who's we? Anyone who streams music can pay five years in prison. Your children are posting a YouTube video you can go to jail. That has nothing to do with self, but that has to do with copyright law. That's been, there's criminal infringement and there's civil infringement under copyright law. And in the, all the years of the criminal provisions of copyright, I don't know of any kid who's gone to jail. So don't create false. Yeah, um, 